There are businesses taking economic hits because of the pandemic, yet many stores selling beer, wine, and liquor are getting a boost. But booming booze sales worry health experts who fear people are using alcohol to cope with COVID stress. Nine on your side's Madeline Ashley is live in Uptown Greenville. And Madeline, what's causing these concerns? Ken, Angie, many people are having a couple of glasses of wine a night or a few beers to help take the edge off. But studies are now showing using alcohol like that, people are doing that to try to relieve some of the numbness and stress that they're suffering during the pandemic. People are having, uh, you know, issues with over-consuming alcohol, mainly related to stress. For many, that stress comes from the pandemic. Studies suggest alcohol sales have spiked 80% this year nationwide. In North Carolina, the increase is a more modest 12%. It's no surprise that we turn to other forms of, of stimulants. And with alcohol, you know, it's a, it's a depressant, but the initial intake of alcohol and consumption of alcohol actually has a euphoric effect on the body. But those high feelings don't last long and can lead to dependency and addiction. At first, it's very bubbly and joyful and, and individuals are, you know, having fun and socializing and then it goes into more that, uh, you know, depressant. It also causes a lot of concern for mental health and physical health risk and um, increase in alcoholism in general. Clay Robertson is a licensed clinical health counselor at Port Medical Services in Greenville. He encourages people to watch what they're consuming. If you're consuming alcohol daily, th there may be something kind of going on. Maybe you're only consuming it once a week, but you are really consuming a lot of alcohol. If you think that maybe you're, you're drinking too much or too often, or if somebody verbalizes a concern to you, it might be time to you know, ask for help. Like Robertson, Jessica Fuller specializes in addiction and mental health. She says people have healthier options for coping. Routine, have a schedule, get up at a certain time, take a shower, get dressed, even if you don't have anywhere to go, go outside, exercise. Exercise is so healthy for you. And if that's not enough, there's always professional help. Seek help, you know, reach out to a mental health or substance use counselor. Have more tips on coping with substance abuses like alcohol on our website, head to WNCT.com. For now, live in Greenville, Madeline Ashley, 9 on your side.